I've already filmed this video once and I lost the footage for it, so this will not be my first impressions as much as my re-impressions. Hi everybody, today I am taking a look at the Vibe and Thrive Planner Made with Love by Judy Holler. This was requested that I take a look at by some of you and I was interested because I've read Judy Holler's book. It's the, uh, was it Fear is My Homeboy? I believe is what the book is called. I listened to it on Audible. She's a very engaging speaker. She was trained in, I think, improv theater. You really get that vibe from her narration. And I thought the book was real interesting, although a little bit more raw, raw than I usually like in my self-improvement books. It is an undated 90-day planner, 8 by 10, which I like. It's nice big size. I like them big. $29.99. It's got 274 pages. It doesn't tell you what the paperweight or the quality is. She's not marketing to planner nerds. She's marketing to goal-setting nerds. Two colors you can get for the cover, the pink or the yellow. This is pink. You just can't see it. That was, it's one issue I have with this. On the website, the pink of the Vibe and Thrive that's written on it is like super like fluorescently bright. And here I can barely see it. That's one quibble I have right off the bat. It has a coil, which I appreciate. The cover is a coated cardstock. And as you can see, just from moving around my office, I've already taken a few chunks out of it. The quail's also black in case you didn't notice that. So here is the Vibe and Thrive Planner, a goal-focused planner designed to help you turn your dreams into goals with small daily actions made with love by Judy Holler. And you'll see this little like lightning bolt throughout it. Now the paper, it's not hella thick. It's not the beautiful 120 GSM paper I've been gaga over over the last couple of planners I've looked at, but it's not shitty either. It feels like nice quality printer paper. It feels like like the 30 G, the 30 pound printer paper you can buy at Target. Like the, there's like the regular copy paper and then there's like the upgraded paper. This feels like the upgraded paper. So it's not terrible. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Sometimes you see planners that look like this that are made by people who aren't planner people. They're just interested in and making a planner for whatever reason and the paper feels a little bit like you know it feels like a notebook you got quail bound at staples and in some ways this feels like a workbook that got quail bound at staples and like there's just some ways it feels like that but the paper quality is actually halfway decent for what you're getting i said this in the moxie life companion notebooks review i'm not going to be pen testing this planner if you want to decorate these kinds of things then go for it but as that's not the focus of the planner i'm not going to put the focus on that especially since she didn't even list the paperweight so obviously that was not something to consider when buying this this planner belongs to okay here is where i remember saying something when i filmed this I remember saying that I appreciated that they put the nameplate on the same page as the copyright information because it felt like they were saving space for more important things as opposed to other planners where you get a nameplate and then a blank page and then a copyright page, especially the planners that feel like they're marketed more like a book than a planner. Just remember that. Remember that. With small daily actions, focus, and the right energy, you can transform the quality of your life and succeed at levels beyond your wildest dreams. And that's her quote. Here's a bunch of information she wants to tell you to manifest your dreams and so on and so forth. Really not my my style of things, but I like her really upbeat, perky style in general. So if you need that kind of motivation, you could probably get that from her here. I will say though, a critique I have of this planner is the the way that she utilizes like different sizes and boldnesses of font. I get that she's trying to emphasize certain things, but for me, from both like a design standpoint and a somebody who gets migraine standpoint, it's hard to read. I find this hard to read. Her writing is not difficult to read. The way the font is presented is difficult to read. And here is her information on how to use the planner. Set the vibe. Set the vibe. Yeah. So it gives you information about all the different pieces of the planner. And we're going to go through and look at all of these. And I will say having looked at this once already, that I was very pleasantly surprised by some of the aspects of this planner. But this just gives you the breakdown. Most goal planners come with something along these lines, kind of instructions to walk you through their process. Her process is to work on goal-focused planning. Now, she breaks it down with the definitions of the words. Goal, noun, the end towards which the effort is directed. So it's the aim. 
And focus noun, a center of activity, attraction, or attention, a point of concentration. She says this means that goal-focused anything is essentially aiming at a precise target, and it means that goal-focused planning is aiming at a goal while making it precise by tightening the window of time. We're going to walk through every part of this right now, but this gives you the whole kind of process to get through the entire planner, which is in a 90-day process. Your vibe directly affects your ability to thrive. I'm going to agree with that because I have made a certain $70 or $80 purchase once that has done me right for many years now. That's all I'm gonna say about that. That's probably not all I'm gonna say about that. She has a little advertisement here for her mastermind group if you want more support for your Vibe and Thrive journey and a picture of her. And then here is her manifesto. We have a yes and mindset. We experiment with fear every day on purpose. We are allergic to basic Energy is our superpower, and we protect it at all costs. We are always braver than yesterday. We celebrate failure. Our anthem, no mistakes, only gifts. We choose love, not fear. There's a lot about this that I agree with. One of the things I took from her book that I really like is the idea of putting yourself into positions where you're afraid every day to help make fear something that you welcome rather than something you're like afraid of, which that sentence didn't make sense, but you kind of hope you get what I'm saying. And like, I do celebrate failure because failure means that you're doing something. If you don't fail, you're not doing anything. I appreciate a lot of this, although I'm not allergic to basic. I'm basic as fuck and I embrace that. <laughs> so here is your set the vibe. The space left blank for you to dream. Use this space to send your attention for the quarter to write collage, vision board, draw, sketch, dream, and doodle. Set the vibe. Yeah. So it's lined, but the lines are very, very, very faint dots. It looks like they're five millimeters apart, which is the way that dot grid is usually five millimeter square in like a bullet journal. But like, for some reason, it looks hella fucking tiny here. Oh, I know why. The height is five millimeter, but the width in between boxes or the width in between dots is three millimeters. So that's why it's throwing me off. <sighs> and this is where, okay. Give me a second for this page. First, we're going to go here. Thrive 365. Use this space to keep track of your annual goals so you stay in forward momentum each quarter, personal goals and professional goals. So I don't think that this planner is as much as like where you would set your yearly goals as much as you come into this with your goals and then you use this to plan out how you're going to achieve them. And I'm going to tell you right now that like one of the struggles I have with this planner is that although I love regular spiral bound coils, there is something about how this one is coiled on the ends. The coil wasn't quite big enough or whatever, or like long enough where it gets kind of jacked up, which kind of bugs me. But that doesn't bug me anywhere near as much as this. Remember what I said about saving space so that you have more useful shit? This planner, and we're going to keep seeing this, this planner, <laughs> it's like a magazine in that every couple of pages or every so often, you come across a full color page spread of advertising. <laughs> so here, if you want to vibe and thrive with Judy every single Friday, scan this to become a Vibe and Thrive th VIP. Don't let this deceive you that I don't think that there is something interesting in this planner because there's actually parts of it I think are very interesting, but that's a choice. And that's not a choice I necessarily would have made. The next 90. She has this labeled up here as well. So it looks like it's still the introduction section. So let's set the vibe, shall we? In the next 90 days, I will let go of, I will commit to doing more of this because it gives me energy. One thing I want to learn is, one dream I will gain some momentum on is, and if I were a coach about to give myself a buildup right now before this new quarter, I would tell myself this. Pretty similar to a lot of other kind of quarterly goal planning situations, but with a little bit of her extra flavor added in. And then what could go right? If I choose to vibe and thrive these next 90 days, here is what could go right. And then a bunch of open space. Mm -hmm. This page is left blank intentionally for your doodles, dreams, to-do lists, and creative vibes. Here's an advertisement for her books. Full color. One thing I will say is these pages very much feel like they were color laser printed, especially these full color advertisement pages. They have that texture that you get from laser printing and you can see it with the black on the pages, that shininess. That's one thing that does kind of bug me. I much prefer like the matte look of an inkjet printer, 
But I have looked at so many planners that that is maybe something that is annoying to me that you guys would not give a shit about. But I had to mention it. Here is your monthly spread. No holidays, no nothing. It's undated. You have space for a month. You get five weeks worth of month. Monday start. You have your monthly goals, room for three of them in yellow. And then over here, it says when you aim at nothing, you get nothing. And there's a typo there. And then here is the week at a glance. It's a Monday start. You do not get a full row or column for the weekends. You get half and half. It gives you a space for morning, afternoon, and night. It's vertical. Again, it's undated. You have a little bit of note space up here for your priorities this week. And I do like the splashes of yellow. I wish the cover was as bright as this. And then... We go into the daily spreads. Now, when I looked at this originally, my first thought when I saw the weekly was motherfucker, another planner that gives you less space for the weekends. But then you get into these daily pages and these daily pages are outrageous. Okay. In a good way, in an excessive way, however you want to look at it, these daily pages, this is something I don't think I have ever seen in any of the planners I've looked at. You get a full two page spread per day, full two page spread per day, including the weekends. Every weekend day has its own day. It's the same situation, which makes me kind of want to forgive the weekly spread a little bit. <laughs> a spot for your date, your top three priorities. You have your morning vibe check and your evening vibe check because, you know, got to change the batteries. I am power statements. You have room for 10 of those. Spot for gratitude, three spots for that. One thing I'm excited about today, one way I can love myself and practice self-care today. And then you have your schedule, which runs from six o'clock to eight o'clock. Now that doesn't have PMs or AMs on it, so you can position that how you want to. You basically have enough room for 15 minute increments. You have six o'clock, 637. So it's not quite as extensive of a spread in terms of the number of hours it covers, but it is extensive in terms of the granulation you can get. Like you can schedule things a lot. You have a lot more room to schedule things within each hour, just not as many hours to schedule as say something that gives you like six to midnight or whatever. Today's build up to myself. I have a yes and mindset. So today I will say yes to fill in the blank with a commitment to yourself. You have notes here. And then for your evening vibe check, you have, I got out of my comfort zone today, yes or no. If yes, the fear experiment I conducted was blank. The best part of my day was blank. I made a mistake or failed today, yes or no. If yes, yay me, here's what I learned. Today I was most proud of myself when blank and I moved my body today, yes or no. And you get the same spread every single day for the whole week, including the weekend. There are two things about this spread that I absolutely adore. The first is that it is the same for every day. However you plan, you have the same opportunities on Monday as you do on Saturday. Secondly, there are no bullshit quotes on this. There's no bullshit quotes on the weekly spread. For somebody who is advertising throughout her planner to buy her books and do her mastermind and all of that, and somebody who's really trying to help you with your mindset, the fact that there are no bullshit quotes here, whether they are her quotes or they are like, fucking Tony Robbins's quotes or somebody else, they're not here, is really refreshing, especially in a planner that is made by somebody who is like a motivational speaker. Like, I love that. Do I think I would use two full pages for every single day? No, I don't think so. Generally, even when I've used a daily planner with a full page, I tend to not use it. When I was doing it with my bullet journal, I would use maybe half of my page and then fill the rest of it up with gigantic lettering to make myself feel better. So like, this is more than I would use, but I know some people who would dig on this. This is a huge spread for them. This is awesome in terms of the amount of space if that's what you're looking for. So yeah, I have my gripes with this planner in terms of some design choices, in terms of some fucking weird choices, but I will say that the meat of this planner is excellent. Is it neutral? Well, there's the pop of yellow on the weekly pages, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty neutral. Is it really built for decorating? Mm, no, there's a, on these, you could decorate here. I would suggest if you wanted to decorate this planner, again, like I said, it's a goal planner. So I'm not super focusing on the creative aspect of planning here, but like you could utilize color pens, highlighters, stickers, probably here. You'd have a higher chance of being able to really decorate on these weekly pages. I would be overwhelmed trying to decorate a planner like this. Let's just say. So we get to the end of the first month and you have your final monthly situation, which this fucking thing here. Ugh. So you have your victory lap for the end of the month. Victory. 
three goals I gained momentum on this month are one, two, and three. My most exciting fierce experiment this month was blank because blank. A failure I can celebrate this month is blank because I learned that blank. Something that really brought me joy this month was, and I will treat myself for all the brave things I did this month by taking this victory lap. Then you get a like a page, like a lined page to do your own notes on. And then you have another one of those. This is left blank intentionally for your doodles, dreams, to do lists, and creative vibes. And then, did you know she has a podcast? Scan this QR code. And then we get into the next month, which is a, has a different little bit of motivation here. This is the closest thing to like motivational quotes on the, the planning pages. And uh, what you do today is how you manifest tomorrow. Okay. And so then you go through the whole month, whole bunch of pages to get through your days and your weeks. And then you know how I know we're at the end of the month? Because there's more advertising. Oh my God. Okay. Now here's the moment where I realize how glad I am that I lost my footage because I went an entire rant in the other video. That was wrong. So I got to the end of the planner, you know, the same months repeat, the same months repeat. There's a 90 day check in. We'll look at that in a hot second, but I want to just mention this. I got to the end and here was the page to order your new 90 day vibe and thrive planner. And I got pissed because I was like, why wasn't this earlier in the planner? Because if you decided you liked this and you got to the end of the planner, you'd have to wait to start your next one and lose any momentum that you had. Went on an entire tangent about this. There is one. It's right before the last month. I don't know if I can blame it on kidney brain or just the fact that I was filming so many videos to try and be ready for my break. I don't know. Of all of the advertisements in this planner, this is the most appropriate one because this is a reminder to order your new planner a month out from your from the end of your planner. You know, it's funny, those advertisements in like 12 month planners, I'm not quite as like grateful for them because a 12 by the end of a 12 month planner, you know you're approaching the end of it. But with a three month planner, you know, two months in and you're already almost done with it. So it, this feels a little bit more appropriate. However, this page about let's work together and bring Judy to your next event as your keynote, like, no. Not that I don't think she's probably a great speaker, but hey, like it's not appropriate for COVID, which is the po it's not the point of the planner, but like move this up a little bit. I had to change my battery and shit's just fucking haywire. Anyway, these advertisements just kind of crack me up. So here's your final month and it says nothing works unless you do, which for some reason is a quote that I associate with my time in an MLM, really hardcore. And even though I understand like the sentiment behind it, it still gives me the skeevies because of my really terrible experiences. And maybe one day I'll talk about that. I've, I've alluded to it before on the channel. Maybe one day I'll talk about it, but probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Of course you are. Most people are like, hell yeah, gossip. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I know I am. So here's the rest of your month. And then we get to the very, very end. And the last page is your 90 day vibe check. Yeah where you say, this quarter I made the following boss moves. You have room for five of those. One thing I'm most proud of accomplishing. What got in my way last quarter? How am I braver than I was? What can I leave behind next quarter? And if I had to pick one word to sum up how I feel after vibing and thriving for the last 90 days, it would be sore. Just kidding. Maybe. And then there's your reminder to have ordered it if you haven't already. So Overall, God, see what I'm saying? Like this is ripping. Like the way that this is bound, like I feel like this coil, it's a good coil, but this, these two ends of it, they just weren't quite long enough. And it's kind of fucking with my, with my bind, with my shit. It's fucking with my vibe. <laughs> one other thing to point out here for your one way you can practice self-care and love myself. It says here, PS, don't forget to schedule it. I appreciate that little note. And it says that on every daily page, much like many planners I review, there are things I really like and things that I'm, mm. is it the best quality ever? No, but it's decent quality. The paper doesn't suck. Total asshole. The printing is nice and clear. Aside from those dot lines, there's nothing in here that is so faint that people who struggle with vision, like you should be able to read this pretty well, except for the weird font choices sometimes, like that might throw you off. For me, it kind of gives me a headache. Content wise, there are the things about it I absolutely adore and the things about it where I cannot stop laughing. Even setting all the vibrator jokes to the side, even setting those to the side, you are kind of juggling the really excellent amount of planning space here to actually plan your shit out versus all of the advertising. And you can find the advertising. It's not hard. The advertising are the brightest, most colorful pages in the book. They pop right out at you, <laughs> much like a vibrator. 
Um, some people might say this is kind of excessive, like this is a little bit too much planning. I don't think I would say that, but I can see some, I can see some people saying that. So I would say this is a very specific planner for very specific people, which is often the planners I look at, but this one is more so than most. Is this one that I want to use for goal setting and planning? No. I have my system down, and while my system is also touchy-feely, it's a different kind of touchy-feely. This is like a excited on large amounts of caffeine touchy feely and the power sheets feel like more like you've had some green tea and listened to Yanni before you got touchy feely. So I kind of fall somewhere in between. I do recommend listening to her book if you, this kind of this kind of vibe <laughs> appeals to you because there's a lot here I recognize from her book and I can recommend the audiobook because her narration is really fun to listen to. This is an interesting planner that I will not soon forget. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear from you in the comments below what you think. Could you look at something called the Vibe and Thrive Planner that says vibe as often as it does and not have your mind go straight to the gutter? Let me know in the comments below, as well as any other planners you'd like me to take a look at. Until next time, friends, thank you for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, etc. Make sure to subscribe and peace out.